Good morning from Shanli Urfa, also known as Urfa. We have been here for a couple of days already, but we haven't been out. But we have two more days to explore. Yeah, Urfa wasn't originally on our travel plans, uh, but we heard about this really interesting archaeological site in the area. It's called Goblieke Tepe or Go something like that. I'll put the name here. I might as well put it. Uh, and that's where we're headed today. So We're live from the most ancient temple in, in the, the world. world. Okay, <laughs> the first stop that we went into was the visitor center, and it's really nicely done. They have uh, some artifacts from ancient history and kind of some cool visuals that show you how like civilization started and it's important and i might mess some of this up but it's important because people still thought that everyone was like a hunter gatherer at this time uh, and that like civilization and like culture didn't really start until the development of like modern agriculture um, but they found this huge thing which seems like religious it seems like a religious temple um, and obviously if there's a huge religious temple, there has to be like organization of people to like build it. So that suggests that like there was like a society that was fairly, I don't know, not as like mobile as they thought like the early nomads and hunter gatherer gatherers were. And it also suggests that like religion was like the starting point of culture and civilization instead of like agriculture. Come on. There is a one kilometer walk to the ruins area, but they also have a shuttle bus. So we're waiting for that. Are you ready to see the oldest temple in human history? Yes. Let's go. Welcome to ground zero of civilization. It is absolutely amazing to witness this. Um, it doesn't seem like much and it's, it's a very small area because they have only excavated 5% so far. Slabs of stone are immense. I think some of them are, I don't know, multiple tons, like 18 tons, which suggests that it had to be like organized construction. And if you have like organized construction, then you have to have like the people and the food and the clothing and the shelter, which then thinking about like this is from 10,000 BC, it suggests like this was like the beginning of like civilization. So like everyone had to come together to make this happen. And like people started to, I don't know, develop their culture, their language, their religion. So that's why some of these details are so important. And then you also have very detailed carvings in the stone of like different animals that they also have found in other sites within the area, which means there was like a collective religion within this part of Turkey. Um, so that's why they call this ground zero of civilization, because this is where everything kind of started, where humans started to get together and build their own like culture. So it's time to find our taxi driver, head back into Urfa. I think we'll have him drop us off at one of the other sites in town. So maybe Abraham the Prophet's pool is also in Urfa. This is 
about the fish lake. This is one of the top things to see in Urfa, and the reason why it's famous is because um, Abraham was thrown from the castle, from the top of the mountain to here, and this was fire lit by the people who worshipped Nimrod, is his name? And, but Abraham, like, he was the ruler, or the ruler, like, kind of like a god here. But Abraham refused to believe that he was the god and refused to worship him. So, um, Nimrod's uh, followers were instructed to like lit a fire and throw him in here. But when they did that, the fire, Allah, turned the fire into water. And that's why this place is so important. It's very pretty. Yeah. I think it is like a pilgrimage site of it is sorts. A pilgrimage. There's a ton yeah. of people here. Yeah, because of that and the same story that Gordon said earlier about the fish. Like it's traditional to feed them and they're holy, like people don't eat them. And if you kill one of them, the legend says that you would like go by. But this is cool too, like the, the embers of the fire are what turned into the fish. Oh like yes, yes, I forgot that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the embers turned into the fish yes, and that's why they're exactly, holy. Exactly, and that's why they're holy. So these are descendants from like 2000, well 4000 years ago. 4000, yeah. yeah. So 2000 BC, which is when Abraham lived. Very cool. cool. So the area around the pools of Abraham is pretty huge and it's busy with people. I'm not sure exactly what there is like to do do, but there's a mosque here. It's called the Medli Helio Mosque. We would go in, but Aymana doesn't have like a shawl to cover her shoulders. So instead, we'll see if we can hike up to uh, the fort. And there should be a nice view from up there. The like, Shanli Urfa Castle. The Heading home, you also can't go into the castle. So you just kind of like walk around it. And the views are really nice, so it's worth checking out. But now we're gonna head home and regroup and see what there is for tomorrow. We stumbled upon the bazaar, apparently, on the way home. And as you can see, it's very, very bizarre. There's a lot going There's on. There's a lot happening. Room. That's a party going on outside. You will never believe. This is a room right here. Can right you, next can to the you band. Describe like how loud this is. Oh yeah, no. They have this drum that just like goes through your soul and like shakes your body from the inside. And then not not in a good way. Just no, no, want to just be very clear. And that happened last time. They were sitting on the opposite side. Like from uh -huh. I don't know, like a little stage area. But now they're literally on our doorstep. That. that was so 
so never, many people. Never stopped coming. It around. was it, that, the, and that's literally right outside our room. So there's one bus right outside, and there's another one right there. I don't yeah. know if they're both coming to our place. It's so many people, and like literally right outside our room. So now we found a hotel that sells alcohol, and we're gonna because drink. We're, alcohol. we're gonna drink <laughs> some wine and beers. You can because, see the beer right now. Because why not? We have to be out until 11 p.m. So that's exactly what we're doing. Are you happy? Cheers. It's not that we were desperate, but it is nice. It is so quiet here. And this place is amazing. <laughs> I was going to say good morning, but it's not really in the morning. It is 4 p.m. Um, last night we had a little bit of a rough arrival to our hotel, and they were still very loud until like 1.30 a.m., just outside our room. So we didn't sleep very well because the pigeons also woke us up this morning, like at 7. We haven't mentioned the pigeons, you don't need to know about the pigeons. But now we're going to have lunch. We're going to head to a mosque and we'll explain more at the mosque uh, later. And we're having our dearly our beloved Lama Chu. some of the back streets of Urufa to get to the mosque. And it does feel like different than other places that we've been, right? Yeah. I don't know if like, I don't know, more Middle Eastern is the, the right term, but I don't know, even more so than like Antep, it just feels, I don't know, more distinct, more like a different world, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> This was fun. We spent here in Shanli Urfa. We spent four days. Shanli Urfa. Shanli Urfa. We are getting ready to leave tomorrow. Final thoughts? Final thoughts. Shanli Urfa was a little bit overwhelming for us. <laughs> I think Antep too was a bigger city and we didn't really anticipate Urfa being also pretty hectic. Yeah. And like with the, the Sila nights, the, those music events that happen right outside our door in the hotel. I think what happened is that every day we were so tired because we didn't sleep the night before so we have basically not slept in the past four days and that doesn't help with anything when you're tired and no. sleepy. Our hotel wasn't a great experience let's just put it that way we don't have somewhere new we got a new room we got back to our hotel earlier and we saw that the music was going to happen again they were doing it all over again right outside our door and we couldn't we couldn't it's just so so loud and it runs until like 11 and then they stay out there until like 1 2 a.m right outside our room and it feels like they're in our room yeah and we haven't slept so we're like nope not happening they f I feel bad because they're very nice people. Very they're nice. They're very nice and they like apologize and ask for forgiveness through yeah. Google Translate. Yeah. But it just wasn't going to happen again. Yeah, yeah, we couldn't do it. Um, yeah, we couldn't do it. So we found this place. This is where we had dinner yesterday where, when we were trying to run from the thing, but unsuccessfully because no. we had to listen to it for the next three hours after. And we came and they had a room and it's quiet. Well, you can hear the call to prayer right now, but that's something that is just everywhere here. We're I think they have a deal it. tonight too, because I looked on the internet and it was like 60% off. Oh, so how much is this? 50 bucks. $50. Same as we were paying in the other place. 
Anyways, we just wanted to but let minus you know. the live music. <laughs> minus the live music. We just wanted live to let music. you know. Now, yeah, live and loud. <laughs> we just wanted to let you know. This is how our day ends. We it's all nice gonna be fine. Clean shower. We have a nice shower. Nice I don't shower. think I show the shower in the video, or I take it. I don't know. Anyways, just now thank you for time. watching. <laughs> Things happen, and we found a solution. Thank God. It's time for another beer. Yes, thank you for watching. Bye. Back in our peaceful patio. Cheers. Big Mama, huh? Big Mama's cheeseburger.